had been told by some other children that there is no Santa Claus. Her father told her to write a letter to the newspaper. He told her, if you see it in the sun, that was the name of the newspaper, it is so. So, eight-year-old Virginia wrote to the sun and said, My little friends told me there is no Santa Claus. Please tell me the truth. Is there a Santa Claus? The sun printed her letter, and this is what they wrote. Virginia, your little friends are wrong. They have been affected by the skepticism, skepticism age. They do not believe, except they see. They think nothing can be which is not comprehensible by the little minds. All minds, Virginia, are little. Be, be them, whether they be of men or children. In this great universe of ours, man is a mere insect, an ant. In his intellect, as compared to the boundless world about him, as measured with the intelligence capable of grasping the whole of truth and knowledge. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus, and he exists as certainly as love, generosity, and devotion. And you know they are bound to give to your life its highest peace, Alas, how dear we would be of the world if there were no Santa Claus. It would be as dearie as if no Virginia. There would be no childlike faith, no poetry, no romance to make tolerable of this existence. We should have no enjoyment except in sense and sight. The eternal life that fills the world would be extinguished. Not believe in Santa Claus? You might as well not believe in fairies. You may ask your papa to hire men to watch in all the chimneys on Christmas Eve to catch Santa Claus. But even if you don't see him coming down, that's that good. Nobody sees Santa Claus. The most real things in life are neither seen by children nor men. Did you ever see fairies dancing in the lawn? Of course not. But there's no proof that they are not there. Nobody can conceive or imagine what is unseen and unseeable. No Santa Claus? Thank God he lives and lives forever. In a thousand years from now, Virginia, nay, ten thousand years from now, he will continue to make glad the heart. Jingle 
Santa Claus isn't real? <gasps> well, he's not. Shh. He's just some made-up character to help shops sell more stuff at Christmas time. And you, you should know how hard it was when all the other kids in school came in with the new clothes and new toys and me with... He said there'll be snow at Christmas. He said there'll be peace on earth. But instead it just kept on raining. A bell of tears for the virgin birth. I remember what Christmas morning a winter's love. Spending money, you know, have presents that people don't really want. And all that 
views are not entirely wrong, but there are other views. And my view is that Christmas can be bigger than that. I don't get it. Christmas is about the importance of innocence. What remembrance believe that the world can be a simple place for people who are nice and kind? Because as we grow to become adults and parents, it's so very easy to lose focus of that. We get so caught up with our lives and our dreams, and we forget how important Santa Claus can be to us. And to Susie. And well, what I want is for Susie is to hold on to that innocence for as long as she can. Her whole life, if possible. Because if we can't hold on to the hope of Santa Claus, if he can't help us, then I don't know who can. So, just try, Paula. Please. Okay. Yes, I will. Mama? Hmm? Has Auntie Paula forgotten about Santa Claus? Well, maybe a little. But she is there? Santa Claus is there? Of course! Is there. Is there. As long as you can stay just the way that you are, and as long as you can keep that beautiful child that you are in your heart, Santa Claus will always be there for Christmas. Maybe we can write to the newspaper to help Auntie Paula remember! Yes! I've got an idea! Why don't we write to Santa Claus directly? Yes, but you're still Susie here can write to him. Yes, yes. Well, here's a pen and paper, but I've got a better idea. Why don't we get Auntie Paula Ooh, to write to Santa Auntie Paula. Come on, let's go, Paula. Come on, Auntie Paula. You can do it. Yes. Okay, Susie. What do you want to ask Santa? You tell me what to write. Dear Santa, my name is Susie. We lost my grandpa a long time ago, and I think maybe he is with you. Please bring him home for Christmas so Grandma can dance with him. And please remind my Auntie Paula that you are real. Thank you. Lots of love, Susie. Lots of love. Here, Susie, you sign it. Very good, Auntie Paula. Great. Now, how are we going to get this letter to Santa Claus, I wonder? I know. We can send it up the chimney. We'll post it up and it goes directly to Santa Claus himself. Oh, let me do it with Susie. I haven't done this since I was your age, Susie. Yeah. But what's a chimney? Oh, a chimney is a funnel that takes the snow up from the fire. Now, in the old days in winter, we would light fires in our houses. And this chimney would let the smoke up through the roof. Now, that's how Santa Claus got into our homes. Yes, he would climb down the chimney with all our presents, and then he would put them in the stockings that were hanging on the fireplace, and he would also put them under the tree. Fire? And where do we have a fire? We have central heating and air pump. Oh, yes. How is Santa going to get in? I'm way ahead of you, Grandma. Look what I picked up when I was overseas. <laughs> Instant <laughs> fireplace. Wow. wow. That's oh, that's pretty. John, you're so clever. Come on, we've got a fireplace and hanging stockings on our post place to Santa. It's just not Christmas. What do you say, Grandma? I'm ready. ready? Santa Claus, hear me please. Over this ice and snow so white, Santa Claus, hear me tonight. As sure as I believe in you, please, please make my deepest wish come true.
Did you order a tree? What? No. A Christmas tree. Got an order to deliver a Christmas tree, but I think I'm lost. Well, uh, where are you supposed to get to? Is, is this number 8 Holly Drop? I, I have it somewhere here. Well, you got the right address, but I told you. We can order any tree. Alama! What? What? Ah! What's wrong with you? Ah! Ah! What oh, is oh. going on here? It's him! Uh, it's Grandpa! Daddy? Eleanor, is, is that you? Eleanor! It, 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 it's me! 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 I can see it's you. So, where have you been all this last ten years? Daddy, it is you! Oh, MG is coming back to me. <laughs> I was going for a tree. The car skidded in the snow. I hit my head. I, I, I can't remember anything after that. Been drifting south for the last 10 years, picking up jobs. And last week, I got a job delivering trees. Like this. Do you know how worried I've been? All these years, we didn't know where you were. Nobody knew what happened to you. And then you come here with some story. Let's 